Hello Aries, thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment this reading resonates. Before we jump into the reading, I would like for you guys to check out this company. This is a New York based company, it's Rose Forever. If you guys love to keep fresh flowers in your home, these last up to years. So it's definitely well worth the investment. I will be putting the link in the description box. You guys can also take advantage of $20 off your purchase. So I will have the code down there as well. But there is a variety of flowers that you guys can choose from. I, I mean, they just, they literally smell so good. They use natural oils to keep them long lasting. So, but I am going to leave it there. If you guys are interested, it will be in the description box. So check it out. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into your reading and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. messages spirit of love and light truth and clarity what messages do you have for aries at this time please and thank you what messages do you have for aries at this time please and thank you So it looks like a situation in the past with the seven of pentacles popping up here. You view this situation as something that was well worth your investment. Like this was something that you wanted to invest in. You wanted to put your energy energy towards this situation. But then in the present moment, you're viewing this situation as the world in reverse. So I'm getting, not only is there a lack of closure in this situation, but you felt like there was nothing accomplished, like you didn't get anything accomplished out of this situation. And then in the outcome, this is something that you're like, I'm no longer waiting around for things to turn around in this situation. I'm no longer putting any effort towards this. I'm no longer putting up a fight for this. You are, you have completely given up on this. Like you feel beat down by this. But the good thing is like your overall energy is you taking your power back. Like you're no longer like trapped in your head about the situation. Like this is not something that possesses your thoughts night and day. Like you feel trapped in this situation. It's not something that you're constantly thinking about. Um, you feel like you have no control over it. This is something that you realize like, you know, I gave it my best shot. It didn't work out. Oh, well, it's time for me to move on. It's time for me to let it go. It's time for me to take my power back and to see what else is out there for me. I, I gave it my best shot. At least I can say I put my all towards it. And that's what matters. It's like, you you live your life you you did what you wanted to because at least you don't have to look back and say what if i gave my all to this situation you did give your all to the situation and you didn't get what you wanted in return so be it but now you can let it go but it's on this person now where they have to look at this situation if you guys are dealing with the person some of you guys are not you're dealing with the situation but some of you guys who are dealing with the person it's going to be on this person where they're going to be like dang you know aries gave me their all i didn't give nothing in return what if i would have gave aries my all like where will we be now so this is something for them to think about this is something for them to stress about you don't have to that's why you can let it go
deck because I'm not getting anything else from, like, it is what it is with that situation. I'm not getting anything else from that. The current situation for some of you guys is the Four of Swords. The obstacle is the Ten of Pentacles. The reason for this spread is the Two of Pentacles. What's up? This is a completely different energy than this. So someone that you're currently on a break from, you're not talking to this person. I'm getting that the both of you are going through some sort of healing period. You guys could possibly either one or the both of you went through some sort of loss here. Um, you're both trying to revive your energy. The obstacle here is that the both of you view this connection as something that can go the distance. You both see that the two of you can have a lot of happiness together with the Ten of Pentacles. You can make each other very happy. You can also attract a lot of success together. You both see that this connection, although that you guys aren't connecting right now, you see that in the long run, this is something that's going to be well worth the investment. This is something that's going to pay off for the both of you guys very well. And you guys are going to be very happy together. It's more than just a fantasy. This is something that can very much well be a reality for the both of you. This is something that excites the both of you. And the thing is, is that I'm getting the both of you have other options, but you both are viewing each other as the better option. Okay. Well, what's going on with this? situation that Aries should be aware of. What's going on with this situation that Aries should be aware of? What's going on that they should be aware of? This person is going to make their way towards you to offer some sort of romantic proposal. They are currently obsessing over this situation because they feel like there's a lack of closure. They're obsessing because they can't let this go. They feel like there's a lack of closure and they're afraid that you no longer feel the same or they're afraid that you never felt the same way towards them. But either way, this person plans on coming towards you and expressing their love. They're taking this chance. They're going to take this risk. What is the most likely outcome between Aries and this person? I always hate asking this question. I just don't like people to become fixated on the outcomes because energy can change so quick. Sometimes it stays the same because people continue on the same path. But... Sometimes they don't. What is the most likely outcome between Aries and this person? Please and thank you.
a partnership. Oh, and the King of Cups. This is something really good. I'm getting that this person is going to come towards you. They're kind they're gonna something shocking. I'm getting that this person is gonna come towards you in like a shocking manner. They may like surprise you. Uh, like say you guys live at a distance, they may say, Hey, I'm in your city. Can I stop by and, you know, visit you for a second? They're, there's some, they're doing, they're going to surprise you one way or the other because there's something that you're not expecting. Um, but it's leading towards a partnership because this person is coming towards you for a partnership. They have a lot of love for you. You have the King of Cups and this is the, you always want to sing this. Like the King of Cups is a good card to see when it comes to asking about a relationship because this is someone who's emotionally balanced. They're emotionally mature. They could be emotionally distant, but I'm not getting that with this person. Um, I'm getting that this person is ready to open up and express the way they feel about you. And that's why the King of Cups is popping up here. This is someone who wants to love you. They want to be there for you. They want to spend the rest of their life with you and they want to express that to you. They want this partnership with you and the things that they're about to express to you is going to be shocking to you. So when this person comes towards you, I don't think that you guys are going to be prepared to hear what they're about to reveal to you. Yes, with the Three of Cups, you're going to be celebrating some sort of news that you're about to be receiving or this reconciliation or just, I don't think you guys, I, I'm not considering this a reconciliation because I'm not getting that you were ever in a relationship with this person. I'm getting that this is someone that you guys were crushing on each other. Feelings were never revealed. They were never explored. And now you guys are ready to progress to the next level. So I started to get Justin Bieber just real quick. Um, and if I can't be next to you, um, it's ghosts. I've, I've only heard it like twice, so I'm trying to see. I try to always look up the lyrics to really get the message that they're trying to get through. I've learned because I, I realize how I can come up with lyrics. I am one of those people that will come up with the lyrics of the song. Like you guys have heard in one of my videos, I said that I used to sing Don't Go Jason Waterfalls. Like I thought that they were telling their boyfriend not to go. I didn't realize that they were saying Don't Go Jason Waterfalls. I thought they were telling Jason not to go. So anywho. And if I can't be, and if you can't be next to me, your memory is ecstasy. I miss you more than life. I miss you more than life. Young blood thinks there's always tomorrow. I need more time, but time can be borrowed. Let me, and if you can't be next to me, your memory is ecstasy. I miss you more than life. I miss you more than, okay. So someone is really missing you. And at this current moment, for whatever reason, the two of you cannot be next to each other. But there's just, I'm, I'm getting like, they're, they're thriving or not thriving. They're like surviving off of the memory of you, like the memories that the two of you have shared. Even if it's just like the two of you work together, or the two of you, you know, just flirting, bypassing, you know, not that much of a, 
you guys weren't able to build that much of a relationship, but they're just like surviving during this distance apart or this time apart. Some of you guys, it's been like four months because I'm getting that this is fairly new. Four weeks for some of you guys. Some of you guys could met someone on vacation here. Pisces is popping up. Summer is popping up. Some of you guys could have met this person during the winter time. Like six to nine months ago here. So they're saying to wait, things are about to unfold in this situation. The moon is popping up twice. So there's like this transition period where things are, it's like you're picking up on it intuitively, but you don't, there's still a lack of clarity, but there's a little light being shed on the situation. So it's like, you feel like you're aware of the way someone feels, but you're not sure because they haven't been expressed here. I'm gonna tell you what, because you're you're not going to make a move. You're letting this person um, lead the way. And, but the thing is, is once this person finally makes a move towards you and they express themselves, this is someone who's going to be deeply committed to you. Like they're, this is someone that you're definitely going to build a family with they're going to be serious about this com uh, commitment with you. Some of you guys will be starting a family with this person one way or the other or combining families with this person. Some of you guys may live off like the seashore here. Some of y'all may love like lighthouses as well. Some of y'all may live by train tracks too. I'm getting, whoever lives by train track is like you guys are ready to like move away from it. You guys definitely met the right person. There's forgiveness taking place in this situation because I'm getting that it was just a, a matter of miscommunication in this situation. It just wasn't the right time, but you guys will have a peaceful resolution here. I'm also getting like your spirit guys are working to lead towards, lead the two of you towards this peaceful resolution. I'm really getting just like in the future, you guys will understand why things did not work. Yeah, why things did not work out in the past was just because it just wasn't the right time. But in the near future, you realize, okay, you're the both of you are ready and it's the right time. 
but they're saying it's ultimately up to you. But I'm definitely seeing you guys accepting this person's love because this is someone who makes you truly happy and they definitely cherish you. They love and appreciate you. So I'm saying that this is someone that you're going to take a chance on and you're going to be happy that you did. So I'm going to leave it there, Aries. These are the messages that came through for you at this time. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.